Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. He's a bullet between the eyes. Se Plus, we might need something calibrated. Yes, Shepard? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. Wait. You can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were kind of rushed to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Joker is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Okay, well, the trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. And this is just with a skeleton crew. You should see this ship when it's fully staffed. Oh, uh, no, Commander. I'm not complaining. This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Täällä ei tainnut olla mitään ihmeellistä, joo. Jo 
joda piti löytää artifakteja. Ihmiset ei tykännyt sitä kakkosen skannauksesta, niin saatiin tämä, tämä tota noin niinku sen tilalla. Mustan pörssin assetteja. Seuraavan skannauksen jälkeen kyllä Reaperit on paikalla. Kato mä arvasin oikein sen suunnan, että missä olisi jotain kivaa. Okei, tää oli, tää oli enimmäkseen kivuton reissu. Osaan tässä käydä näitä löytyis mitä lassitteja on käydä. Tää on, tää on paikka, missä me käytiin. Tää on tuttu paikka. Uh, joo, lisää, lisää. Ai niin, tää oli tää juttu. Hmm. Hetken kuluttua. Hetken kuluttua vois ton... ton ää, koska siellä, siellä löytyy jotain hyvin mielenkiintoista. Tässä on käydä tällä planeetalla tuossa ykkösessä. Tuo on tuttuja järjestelmiä. Okei, okay. rahaa, kelpaa. 50 prosenttia eli se toinen spensa-asema, mikä oli täällä jossa jo, niin, niin se on varmaan loput näistä tästä tähtijärjestelmästä löytyvästä luutista. Eli en, en viitti hälyttää riippereitä paikalleita. Käydään täällä. Signal confirmed. Ja 
se riste niin. Reapers eluded. Access on ää, niin, niin kutsuttu Day One DLC, eli niin kuin lisäosa, mikä ilmestyy yleensä siinä vaiheessa, kun ää, peli, pelikin ilmestyy. Jos niillä on ollut oikeasti aikaa, aikaa lähe polissata sitä ja korjata, korjata päivityksiä. Mitä mielenkiintoista. Pinsaa saattaa olla kans niinku... Olin just sanomassa itseasiassa, mitä sieltä löytyis, mutta sitten mä tajusin, että osa, osa katsojista ei ole välttämättä pelannut tätä kolmosta, joten ei nyt spoilata ihan kaikkea välittömästi. Vaikka tiedän, että mulla on vähän tapana spoilata näistä näin tulevista ratkaisuista proteaanien peliski. Faster than light jump successful. Tuli varmaan se tärkein, mitä tuolta löytyy. Että näin. No niin. Siitä löytyy vähän, ihan vähän bensaa. Toivottavasti sulla on norsun ääni itse asiassa, minkä on vaan sämplännyt niin kuin, äh, huomattavasti, vaan, huomattavasti pienemmäksi. Tai hitaammaksi. Tähtiensodassakin ne tiehävittäjien lentoäänet, ne oli niinkun norsun, norsun ääni tosiaan niinkun vaan niinkun samplettuna huomattavasti korkeammaksi. Jaa, tässä on taas joutuu arvailemaan millä planeetalla olisi. Signal confirmed. Mm. 
Noin nopeutuu itseensä koko ajan noin Reaperit. Et, et siinä mielessä niin kuin... Aha, tänne on ilmeisesti joku paljonkin tavaraa. Tässä tähti on vasta. Toi on kyllä jonkinlainen jättiläistä. Me voidaan mennä. Lup. Sisään. Oh. Tuosta saatiin kyllä tankit täyteen. Joku tankkaus on samalla. Sininen, sininen jättiläistähti. Jaliara. Vanhat kaverit tosiaan. Löytti just pyssykkää. Tää on äärimmäisen tarkka. Vähän hidas, mutta... Ja nyt kakko, kakkosessahan tää oli parhaita aseita. Ihan heittämällä. Painossa ihan törkeen painava. Olen ihan kohtuullisen pätevä tämän pistolin kanssa, kun ne pistolit vähän sellainen nö. Nyt sama tähän palasta ja kyky, että niin tämä saa vastustajien aseet voi niin kuin, sabotoida myös. Mä en ole vielä innostunut tuosta. No, mä ajattelin ottaa niin kuin, kaikki irti tuosta infiltratori hahmoluokasta. Niin. Okei, okay, niin voi voiman käyttää ja pysyä silti niin loukattuna. Snipulle tää ehkä on parempi. Sanoisin vahva ehkä. Ei. 
Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. <laughs> Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No man, Laskis Sevara. Sevara on näissä yhtä hienovarainen kuin Norsulauma. No sign of survivors. Come on. We need to find the dig. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. What should we have to call? But still remember. Can I hear you best? You're that severe. You're so damn much to stand there. More than just a man. A random mystery like that. To ask for an alloy. Prothean text sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and. Oh, you were joking. A bit, but at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Hmm. She's deep. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's a Prothean. Like the collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past fifty thousand years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans, the people, not the technology? Given your experience with the Prothean cipher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. 
galactic community you think they have something like a council yes exactly their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient asari and given their similar interests in helping other species it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation they had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy it's unlikely they did that just by playing nice of course they must have had an impressive military as well whatever the protheans were finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity whatever he is he's better with us than with cerberus open the pod of course ah <sighs> cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it the life signs are unstable then let's get him out of there no breaking open the pod would kill him we have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode we also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh. There they are. Mutta kohan tämä oli? Olikohan se niinku kolme tiedon palasta, mitä piti löytää täältä tolle vastarintaliikkeelle? Ja jos se niitä ei löytänyt, niin tänne ei pystynyt palaamaan, eli se piti niinku hoitaa nyt tää kuesti. There, that lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life <laughs> Yeah. Third of our people. So we must start this area. Yeah, micro all the way. Alert! Northside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Tässä oli se vastarintarinikkeen ne tiedot. Nyt on kaksi löytyy, niin se kolmas on vielä varmaan jossain. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Yeah, juuri väärään aikaan katso. Katsoin sivulle. Ah, Ferrus. Yritti koukata ja se. There. 
that lab found footage of Brilliant. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Perin tässä ympärissä, jos löytyisi vielä niinku... On kasvihuone. Niin, niin... Tiedustelutietoa. No niin, mu muistin, oli kolmas vielä. Oli kolmas vielä tosiaan, mikä piti löytää. Return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Understood that one too. Yeah, I've got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Okei, niitä on aika paljonkin itseasiassa. 
Jopa. We've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Hirätetään, kuva täällä onkaan.
got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Don't waste a tauko. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Ja, kiitos Karrus. Ammukset kyllä käy aina. Heavy mech, don't let it get close. No, onneksi oli vessatauko tässä välissä niin. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. He's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, 
The bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pawns online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing. Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I'm surrounded by primitives. <laughs> it's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? Oh. Oh. 
käytä samaa videopätkä sitä käytetään kolmessa eri pelissä. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the reapers? You see, see, I'm not gonna learn anything about It's Commander, and nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Oops. Then I take it you don't know anything about the catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Give up. Only when the last reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? Lies are easy to detect, but you seem to be telling the truth, Commander. For now. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the crucible? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered yeah. writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? <laughs> We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. <laughs> We Kolo evolved as lapsus, Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes. I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, 
Our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. <laughs> Are you <laughs> saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They oh. rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. Mass, mass effective tema. Technology and we can do. To us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about the Crucible? Only the stories we heard. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. It must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated. Converted. Then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. 
I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time yeah. now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> huh. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Oh, more me, I am. So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. For me, it was only yesterday. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth. I still, I have, still have much to learn about this cycle. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? <laughs> no, oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra-light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. Huh. You pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Oh God, the commander didn't forget. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. <laughs> the <laughs> first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. Huh. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info, and I'll keep biting. Commander. Renegadia tuli. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Okay. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Artikkelikivääri on nykyään. Tää taisi olla ihan kohtuullisen päheä vehjä. Vielä vielä täytyisi jonkin verran rahaa kerätä tohon.
Yleensä päivityksiä. Okei, tässä ei ole mitään mielenkiintoista. Say that again. The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. I see we must Murham. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. What it took them I centuries got? to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. Okay. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. <laughs> I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I know. It's just... difficult. Watching you get shot at out there. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. The Reapers would have been here years ago if I didn't. I wish motivating everyone else had been as simple. At least the galaxy always had you. Lucky galaxy. <laughs> I certainly think so. Let's talk later, Shepard. Oh. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Okay. Minä juttelemaan muiden kanssa saman tien. Shepard. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. <laughs> I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Huh. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. Anytime. Karuksesta presidentti, tai siis primarkki. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. Niin me ollaan menossa palapenille Ah, Shepard. We were just... Step away from her. She doesn't belong to you. Re, it's okay. Nothing's okay when Solarians are involved. This one is different. What are you doing? Simple blood test. Far less painful than tissue sampling. I'm still feeling that. The meds didn't do anything. <laughs> Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Considering everything the Solarians have done to the Krogan, can you blame him? Yes. Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. But you're the one who improved the genophage. True. But if one of your species dead, could have sterilized you. Bloodless. Irreversible. Easy. 
Must be terrifying to have problem you can't defeat with shotgun. Fortunate I'm here to help. Just keep her alive. Concern is touching. A word when you have a moment, Shepard. I wanted to thank you for saving my life, Commander. <coughs> Even if it was to serve your own ambitions. Krogan have always put their ambitions first. I would think you'd respect that. Perhaps. But how well has that arrogance worked for us? I brought you all the way here, and I still don't know your real name. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female the clan. Shaman. <laughs> I belong to my sisters now. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. Okay. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. What do you think of Reeve? He worries me. Reeve has the makings of a tyrant. I see him when he looks at me. I am the key to realizing his ambitions. But you can't judge all Krogan by his actions. His brood brother Rex was more reasonable. Yeah, that Rex is like every half one of them. What will Reeve do with his power? What does any tyrant do with power? In ancient times, the Krogan were once a mighty race. Not because we dreamed of war, but making a better future for our children. The Genophage made us forget that. Reeve especially. Do you think Reeve will want revenge for the Genophage? He's talked about it, but I think most females will resist. How? After we're cured, we'll refuse to have children. <laughs> Reeve will need an army for revenge. But we're not going to watch a new generation finally born, only to face the slaughterhouse. It will be a civil war if Reeve tries. That may not stop him, though. What do you think of Reeve? He worries. I see it in him. But you can't judge all. Years ago, Rex was part of my crew. I wish he'd been more reasonable with me. I know. I've heard the stories. But I admired Rex for that. He was willing to die defending what he believed was the best hope for our people. Not just for himself. Rex may have been wrong at the time, but Reeve is wrong all of the time. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future. Like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, yeah, they become yeah. wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the Genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. Pointy. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. 
Malin was our best hope. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Would you go to Malon again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. <laughs> he does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and a okay. <laughs> sorry well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. Oma tunto. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. Mm. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Deal. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Currently stable, but lack of Malin's research data. Problematic. Yeah, There's thing. nothing we can do about that now. No. I hate to ask this, but will it affect the cure? No, cure will remain viable, but Eve's long-term prognosis, doubtful. Do what you can for her. Of course. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Wishing we'd save the data? Pointless to consider. Correct decision at the time. Even if it would have helped now? Recrimination's useless. Data lost. Have to deal with consequences. Would like more data, yes. Would make it easier to save Eve, but destroyed it. Tainted source, too dangerous, I thought. Any word on Malon himself? Maybe he could help reconstruct the data. No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure? My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient, my responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Huh. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. 
Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> Me, but the others. Too. All right.